Hi, I'm John Boyd. I'm a senior at Atlantic Technical College and Technical High School, and I'm here to share with you five tips to succeed on the SAT. My first tip is to use all the resources available to you to study and prepare yourself for the SAT. There are a number of ways that you can brush up on your math and your reading skills. Khan Academy is a good way to practice specific skills. Um, you need to be able to take time tests in order to get yourself used to testing in an SAT environment and College Board provides plenty of practice tests and old SATs that you can use to just get a feel for the test and know how to succeed as you go through the real thing. My next tip to you is going to be helpful on the math calculator portion of the SAT and it's that you need to find the right calculator for you. The calculators they provide for you if you don't have one of your own is simply a four function calculator and it'll get you through the test but it won't be a pleasant experience for you. So you want to find a calculator that has as much functionality as possible but at the same time it needs to be an approved calculator as well as a calculator that you're comfortable with because if you're not comfortable with it then it's not going to be any more useful to you than a four function. My next tip to you is to get enough sleep the night before the test as well as eat enough breakfast to give you energy the morning of the test because you want to make sure that you have enough energy to make it all the way through the test. I know a lot of us don't get the time to sleep properly or to eat properly as teenagers but it's important that you do it on this day particularly because it's a long test and you want to make sure that you're not falling asleep or losing your concentration in the middle of that test. My fourth and easily the most important tip that I have for you is to pace yourself as you're taking this test. And this is going to be the hardest part of possibly the whole exam because you want to take as much time as possible on the hard questions, but at the same time you have to remember you have other questions that you have to do in a timed environment and you don't want to run out of time to answer those questions. So when you encounter a hard question, don't be afraid to skip it, bubble in a letter, and say you'll come back to it later. Or don't be afraid to just guess an answer if you don't know it because there's no penalties for guessing on the SAT. My final tip to you is not to be afraid to take the SAT more than once. A lot of us are determined to earn the score that we want on our first try, but realistically speaking, that's not going to happen for all of us. But that's why colleges and scholarship committees oftentimes super score. They'll take your highest reading and your highest math and combine them to give you your best score possible. And this super score is the reason why you don't want to be ashamed to have to take this test more than once. Um, the first time I took it, I wanted to get a high score, but I didn't do as well as I would have wanted. And then I took it a few times over and I have my super score of 1380. These have been my five tips to do well on the SAT. I hope that they were useful to everyone. Make sure to prepare as much as you can for the SAT and good luck to all of you.